If you live in the Philadelphia area and you're considering selling your home soon, today I'm gonna to talk about six things that you can reasonably expect to see in the home selling process. What's up guys, I'm Steve Bizogany, Philly's real estate agent. Today I'm gonna to go over six quick things that you can reasonably expect to see throughout your home selling process here in Philadelphia. Expectation number one, expect to see a sign on the house. Uh, Part of marketing a house is letting everybody know that it's for sale. Let the neighborhood know that you've got a home that you wanna sell and allow them to pick their neighbors, which leads me into point number two. Uh, neighbors are gonna come looking at the house. They're gonna be very nosy. They're gonna you know, start asking you questions and things. Let them be nosy. Let them figure out all the details because what they're gonna do is they're gonna turn around and tell their friends. And we want them to tell their friends because neighbors like to pick their neighbors. And we want them to tell their friends because then it will it's only more mouthpieces out in the marketplace for you uh, than originally before. So that's a good thing. Expect, expectation number three, expect to have to give some kind of credit back to the buyer for some kind of inspection result. No matter how nice you keep your property, there's going to be some kind of problem with it when the inspection takes place. So expect to give a couple hundred bucks back, maybe it's a couple thousand bucks back, depending on how well you maintain the house, uh, it might be higher or lower, but expect to do that. It's just part of the process. Uh, also, uh, number four, expect to live a little cleaner and tighter than you're used to. We have to make sure that the home stays in a very presentable state, so you gotta live a little bit cleaner and tidier than you're used to. Uh, number five, so this is a nice little rule of thumb. So whenever you sell, there's always closing costs involved. In the Philadelphia area, I like to tell people, whatever you list the home for, multiply that by 91.5%, so 0.915. Uh, and then that's usually the number you're going to walk away with, minus whatever mortgage debt you have and any other liens too. So that's a good rule of thumb to expect, you know, to walk away with around 91.5% of what the asking price is, or whatever the sale price is, not the asking price. Um, also, and then finally, guys, look, expect to use a real estate agent. I know sometimes people will say, look, I don't want to pay a 6% compensation to a real estate agent. Look, homes that are used, homes that use a real estate agent will actually sell for 10 to 20% more than homes that don't. So that 10 to 20% more will more than cover the 6% compensation that a real estate agent is paid. And it will actually cover it and then some. So it don't do it, don't, don't do yourself a disservice. Also, homes that use a real estate agent will sell for, I think on average, around 20 days quicker than homes that don't use a real estate agent. So guys, really don't do yourself a disservice. I know it's, it's just not worth it. The numbers don't make sense, they don't add up. Uh, and the stats are there to back it up. So guys, I hope you got a lot of information or a lot of value out of that as well. So guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and you have questions about buying a home, selling a home, or just Philadelphia real estate in general, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you out with any questions you have.